Hi students, welcome back to the online classes. This is the third session of the chapter simple electric circuits. So, in the previous session we have discussed about conductors and insulators. Conductors. So, what are conductors? Substances which allow the current to pass through it. Substances which allows the current to pass through it. Substances which allows the current which allows the current to pass through it. is called or called as conductor are called conductors and insulators insulators substances which does not the reverse of this statement which do not allow which do not allow the current which do not allow the current to pass through it are called are called insulators so in your textbook there is a processor given to identify to identify the insulators and conductors so let us discuss that processor so consider a battery consider a battery so battery is having positive end and negative end and connect the wires so connect one wire to the one terminal of the bulb and connect another wire to a nail placed on a cardboard connect another wire to a nail placed on a cardboard so this is the nail and another nail is also there so there is a gap between the circuit here there is no gap but here there is a gap so place a different different objects here to know to classify whether it is a conductor or not so by placing if the by placing i have a pen you so place the pen here so if the bulb glows then the pen is in conductor place the if the bulb doesn't close then the pen will act as an insulator like that connect these two nails with different materials with different with the different instruments which is a tube so connect with an eraser what will happen if the bulb glows it is an conductor if the bulb doesn't close place different materials here this gap fill this gap attach connect these two nails with different materials let us list out what are the materials we can verify so this arrangement will help for identifying the conductors this arrangement is for identifying the identifying the conductors so use different different materials and different substances to connect these two nails so let us discuss that for example connect these two nails substance we are using substance or thing so and next one material with which the substance was material made material made and bulb glows or not glows or not so i have considered initially i have considered scale i have considered a scale i have considered a scale and connected these two nails with the place placing like a scale like here so the scale is made up of plastic the scale is made up of plastic so the bulb does close or not so here the bulb does not close no the bulb doesn't close let us consider another one hairpin hairpin as usually the hairpins are mostly made up of iron 
mostly made up of iron so the iron is a metal iron is a metal all the metals will allow the current mostly the metals will conduct the current so the bulb blows yes if it is a hairpin or if you use let us take another one so eraser eraser is a rubber material and in this case it doesn't allows the current to pass through it let us take another one pencil lead pencil lead so pencil lead is made up of graphite so pencil lead is made up of graphite so the graphite is a very good conductor of electricity it will conduct the electricity it will allows the electricity so if you place a pencil lead so remove the pencil lead from the and place here it connecting here then the bulb will glow why because the, it is made up of graphite and it is a good conductor it is a good conductor of current it will allows the current to pass through it and place another piece of piece of glass bangle piece of glass bangle it is made up of glass it is made up of that bangle is made up of glass so in this case it the bulb doesn't glows so let, let us take piece of piece of metal bangle piece of metal bangle so mostly the metal bangles are made with aluminum so aluminum is a good conductor of electricity the light glows and let us take another one you can take piece of chalk piece of chalk piece of chalk is a plaster of paris material or calcium salt calcium so the chalk also the piece of chalk also doesn't allows the current to pass through it wood is an insulator wood wood is a made is a material wood only no so from this what are the what are the conductors the hair pin or you can take divider from your compost box you will have divider if you use divider it is made up of iron so in this case also the bulb glows so you are using different materials to connect the nails to connect the nails so that if the light glows then it is a conductor if light doesn't glows then it is not a conductor so this is yes why because divider is a divider is a conductor so it, it will allows the current here also s yes, hair pin is a conductor and another one pencil lead pencil lead is a conductor and another one metal bangle yes here yes the bulb glows here so wherever the yes you can list out that and another one over so these are the materials which allows the current to pass through it and the materials which does not allows the current to pass through it are called insulators here wherever you get no so these materials are nothing but insulators so in this way this arrangement can gives us a way to verify the the material whether the material or the thing is a conductor or not if you are having some silver chains measure you can place the silver chain here if you are having silver chains or silver materials if you place here the bulb will glow even the gold if you place a gold material a gold chain then also the bulb will glows so in this way the silver gold iron iron graphite carbon materials aluminum all this will allow the current to pass through the current it will those materials will allow the current so in that way you can list out whether the material is a you can find out whether the material is a conductor or not so sometimes you can observe while doing some electrical works the worker will prefer to wear rubber chappals so plastic footwear so electrician 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 prefers wearing 
रबर फुटवेयर और प्लास्टिक फुटवेयर वाई सो इन अवर हाउस इन अवर हाउस सिमिलर टू द टर्मिनल्स ऑफ द बैटरी हियर इन द बैटरी वी आर हैविंग टू टर्मिनल्स वन इज पॉजिटिव टर्मिनल एंड अनदर वन इज नेगेटिव टर्मिनल इन अवर हाउस कनेक्शन ऑल्सो इन अवर हाउस कनेक्शन ऑल्सो वी डोंट हैव बैटरीज बट इन अवर हाउस देर आर देर विल बी टू वायर्स देर विल बी टू वायर्स सिमिलर टू दिस टर्मिनल वन इज लाइव वाई एंड अनदर वन इज न्यूट्रल वाई वी विल कॉल वन एज वन एज लाइव वायर एंड अनदर वन एज न्यूट्रल वायर so here in the case of batteries we are having two terminals but in the case of our houses we will have two wires this is one terminal this is another terminal so here this one is called as live wire and another one is called as neutral wire and the bulb will be connected across this the bulb will be connected across this so in such a way the house arrangements will be there and if safety wire a ground a wire will be a wire will be grounded grounded means one of one wire at our main connection is placed under the earth is connected to the earth why because if there is extra current is available if more current is available so what happens that extra current will goes into the ground extra current will goes into the ground so if you place if you touch any naked wires if you if you touch any current passing wires what will happen if you if you are standing with a bare foot if you have, if you start with if you stand with a bare foot the current will pass into the ground into the ground through you the current will pass into the ground through you if you wear a rubber chappels here the current will not flows why because this rubber material has disconnected if you place a rubber here if you place a rubber here what will happen of course these two nails are connected with rubber this rubber doesn't allows the current to pass through it so in this way the rubber chappels or rubber gloves electricians will wear rubber footwear and rubber gloves also they will wear so to avoid the current passing through the human the humans are good conductors of electricity we can allow the current we are able to allow the current to pass through us so that's why electricians will prefer rubber gloves and rubber footwear rubber gloves also they will use for the safety purpose rubber gloves will be used why because this rubber doesn't allows the current to pass through it if you connect the these two nails with the rubber does the does the bulb close no the bulb doesn't close why because the rubber doesn't allows the current it acts as an insulator the rubber will act as an insulator that's why electricians will prefer to use rubber footwear and rubber gloves for the safety measures so now let us see about the story of bell so i think may all of you maybe maybe most of the people know that who invented the bell the story of bell story of bell children who invented the bell the bulb was invented by a great scientist thomas alva edison thomas alva edison the bulb was invented by bell invented by thomas alva edison let us learn about thomas alva edison so let us learn about the know about the story of the bulb so do you think you may think that bulb is a very simple device if you switch on the bulb it will light it will give light if you switch off the light if you if you switch off the the bulb will goes off so you may think it be it may be appears as a very very simple gadget it may appears as a very simple gadget so you don't think that is a very great invention but it is a very very so many scientists throughout the world so many scientists are tried to invent the bulb so they have tried and tried but only among that so many scientists only one scientist was succeeded in inventing the bulb who is that who is 
that the bulb the the person the man who invented the bulb is thomas alva edison there are so many scientists are struggling for inventing the bulb and this thomas alva edison is a, is a very great scientist and in his over lifetime in his lifetime he has invented thousand he had made thousand inventions he had made thousand inventions that much brilliant the thomas alva alva edison was so he has invented in his lifetime in his lifetime he he made he made thousand inventions in his lifetime he made thousand inventions so that much intellectual is thomas alva edison but he has taken a very much large time in inventing the bulb so the bulb appears to be simple but it is a very difficult to achieve that that invention so let us see how the bulb is invented so thomas alva edison was from his child from his childhood he was more enthusiastic he was more enthusiastic in learning the things he was more more interested and whatever the things he will learn and he will perform some experiments on it he will perform an experiments he will understand the concept that he was learned through experiments he will do he was he was interested and enthusiastic through experiments from his childhood only he was interested in doing experiments so that that thoughts the thoughts of the alva edison made him to invent the bulb so let us see initially he, he passed the electricity so the bulb consists of two wires an arrangement was made like this and he he made a he prepared a platinum wire he, he was connected these two wires with a platinum wire initially he has used platinum wire initially he has used platinum wire so when he used the platinum wire the wire burns out when he passed the electricity through that platinum wire when he passed the electricity through this platinum wire this platinum wire burns out burns out so what he thought was the platinum wire is burns out why because of the air present around it if there is no air you cannot light up the match stick the the substances cannot burn even the petrol also will not burn if there is no air so that's why he was he was placed this particular arrangement inside a glass chamber he was placed this particular arrangement inside a glass chamber and removed all the air present inside it and removed all the air presented in your inside it so initially he made the experiment without any glass chamber so because of there is no no glass chamber what happened this this particular substance is burned this particular substance is burned so if any substance has to burn it requires air if there is no air there will be no fire at all there will be no fire that's why he prepared a glass chamber and he was removed complete air in it and after perform that experiment using the platinum wire and the bulb lights up so now he get some satisfactory results if you if uh, the complete air was taken out from this glass chamber and he and he repeated the experiment so he repeated the experiment and now the bulb is lighted up for 8 minutes so the bulb is lighted up for 8 minutes when he was using platinum wire by removing the air in it and later and later so it was it is a little bit success is there only the bulb is working only for 8 minutes and later he was invented and later he has replaced that platinum wire with a cotton suit cotton thread with a suit cotton thread sir you said that initially in the examples of insulator cotton is a insulator so what i said in the previous session i has i was said that clothes are act as an insulators and here cotton is a insulator but it is not a normal cotton it is a suit cotton suit suit means if you light up a 
a kerosene lamp if you light up a kerosene lamp if you light up a kerosene lamp if you light up a kerosene lamp some smoke will comes out some smoke will comes out if you place a hand or any plate near to that flame a black color coating will be appears a black color coating will appears so that black color coating is nothing but we will call it as soot that means you has to take a cotton thread and you has to place in the smoke of the kerosene lamp in the smoke of the kerosene lamp then the cotton thread will be converted into a soot cotton thread soot cotton thread means a carbon that what is that black colored material that black colored material is carbon that black color material is carbon it is a good conductor we have seen in the previous uh, examples pencil lead pencil lead is a good conductor why because it is a graphite material graphite is nothing but a carbon so here the soot cotton thread he was replaced this platinum wire with a soot cotton thread so when he used soot cotton thread yes it has worked it has worked and then the bulb is then the bulb works up to 45 minutes the bulb is worked up to 45 minutes later it fails so he has improved his results initially when he used platinum wire the bulb works for 8 minutes and later he used soot cotton thread and the interesting fact is he saw a man who is fanning with a bamboo leaves with a bamboo leaves so he he found some man he found bamboo leaves he was fanning fanning means taking from wind from that bamboo leaves so he came with an idea that he used bamboo threads bamboo threads so these are not a normal bamboo threads these are the especially may this especially cultivated in the in the country of china so in the country of japan so those bamboo threads will also be you well will also used by thomas alva edison as a filament so he he, he has taken bamboo threads he has taken bamboo threads what will happen surprisingly these bamboo threads has worked for a long time so this is the successful experiment later again he was replaced with cotton thread and he was succeeded and that cotton thread is working for up to 45 days like that so in this way finally he was built the the edison bulb was built with a cotton thread it was little bit improved the thickness and the sooting coating will be changed so that the again the cotton thread is stand in the bulb up to 45 days so in this way thomas alva edison has invent, invented invented the bulb he has used different materials as a filament so he has conducted the experiment for 10000 times he has verified so much of materials as a filament and today's our bulb today's bulb our bulb is also similar to the thomas alva edison bulb but the only difference is in the case of filament we are using tungsten we are using tungsten as a filament so finally the thomas alva edison was invented the bulb and in that bulb he has he, he is used a cotton thread as a filament but today is yes, an improvised version is there so today we are using tungsten as a filament so this is about the lesson simple electric circuits so till now what we have learned from the starting of this chapter we have seen about battery why because why we have learned about batteries is the electric energy the electric energy will comes from the battery so here we learned we have seen about the torch light what is the torch light it will produce a light light is nothing but energy light is nothing but energy light is a energy so that energy is created that energy is produced because of the because of the energy created by the battery what the battery will do battery will supply energy that's why we will call the battery as a source of energy we will call the battery as a source of energy so the battery will gives the energy how this battery acquires energy so we learned that battery is consisting of chemicals so the chemical the energy is stored in the form of chemicals so we will call that as chemical energy we will call this as 
chemical energy so this chemical energy is converted into this chemical energy is converted into electrical energy this chemical energy is converted into electrical energy and this electrical energy is converted into light energy this chemical energy is converted into light energy so what we have learned about battery is it is a source of energy and the battery consists of two terminals one is positive terminal and another one is negative terminal so positive terminal we, we will find protrusion there is there will be a bump at the one end of the battery why that bump was created because of the carbon rod placed at the center of the battery and the cylindrical can of the battery is made with zinc material what is the material used in making of cylindrical can of a battery zinc metal zinc metal is used as a as a cylindrical can in the battery and after battery what we have seen we have seen we have learnt about bulb so let us discuss that let us recap that again so what the bulb consists of bulb consists of a glass chamber and that glass chamber is fitted on a metal cap that glass chamber is fitted on a metal cap there are two wires there are two wires in the bulb which are attached to the metal cap so at which they are attached at which they are connected to the metal cap we will call this as terminals of the bulb and across these two wires a spring like small and thin wire is connected and this is the part which which glows in the bulb so the part which glows in the bulb is called as filament so our bulbs what is the material that filament was made tungsten tungsten is used as a filament is there any air inside this glass chamber no there is there will not be air inside this glass chamber no air what happens if there is air if there is air present inside the glass chamber this will catches fire and burned so that's why the thomas alva edition was removed the air if there is no air there will be no fire catching option for that filament and we have seen about electric circuit we have seen about electric circuit what is an electric circuit so electric circuit is a closed connection between electric circuit is a closed path between the battery and terminals of the bulb electric circuit is a closed connection between battery and terminals of the bulb and we have seen depending upon the nature of electricity depending upon the nature of electricity the substances are classified into two types one is conductors and another one is insulators what are conductors the substances which allow the current to pass through it are called conductors and the substances which doesn't allows the current to pass through it are called insulators and we have also seen why the electricians will prefer rubber gloves and rubber footwear while doing the while doing some repairs of electric appliances why because if they are doing some electric work they prefer rubber gloves why why because the rubber gloves when they touch the electric circuits by mistake they, if, if they if there is electricity in that wires the rubber gloves doesn't allows the electricity to pass through them the humans are a good conductor of the humans are good conductor of electricity so now this is what we have learned in this lesson and let me ask you a question is the water is a good conductor of electricity or not water is a water allows the current to pass through it or not yes pure water doesn't allows pure water doesn't allows it is a pure water is a insulator pure water is a insulator and impure water will allows the current impure water it's a conductor impure water is a conductor and what is the interesting fact is if you cut a potato if you cut a potato and make connections in it the potato will allows the current to pass through it so if you connect two wires consider a battery and connect the one wire to the bulb and another wire is dip in potato 
this is potato let us say cut the potato and and place the wire inside it and another wire is connected inside this potato so what was the interesting thing is this potato will also allows the current to pass through it so in this way the substances around us will be classified as insulators and conductors so with this the lesson simple electric circuit is completed thank you